Hey, Brian with Workspace Admins here. Uh, today, we'll just take a quick look at how you might bypass the uh, some of the phishing protection settings, particularly the protection against spoofing of employee names that allows you to show warning uh, in Gmail. So this will only show up in Gmail on the browser or Gmail on mobile, which is why you should be encouraging your users to use the Gmail instead of the native IMAP clients. So the other two options are putting the messages in the spam folder or quarantining the messages. So uh, we'll just get started here. So I'll just go over here. So I just signed up for a Proton mail account. So the email address here is um, the app at protonmail.com. So I'm pretending to be an application. So I'll just email myself here, Brian at workspace admins. Now pretend that this is a chart notification that's being sent to your user with the user's display name. And I'm going to reload my inbox, check my spam folder as well. Sometimes messages end up there, particularly messages from uh, Gmail, new Gmail accounts. So, um, Google does seem to detect the age of uh, Google accounts, especially. So here, as expected, this shows a warning banner. So what I'm now going to do is switch over to tab with GAM. So what I had noticed earlier when I was recording the video is that I thought you had to create the contact using people API. So you're creating the contact for each and every user on the domain, but it looks like domain shared contact API which is where a uh, super admin can create external contact seems to work as well. So I'm going to just repeat the process again. So that was my uh, other email address. So I'll just do, so again, create contact name. So Jira email work, email address followed by primary. And I'll just verify the contact is created by doing GAM print contacts. So it is there. So now I'm going to go over to Gmail and let's send another message. And while messages arriving, I'll just refresh here again. So the email is there. See, morning banner is gone. So domain shared context API works. So let's try another one here. So I just see if the So it doesn't seem to show up in autocomplete yet. So this may be related to propagation delay uh, from Google. So now I'm going to delete this contact that I just created. So I'm just going to copy this contact ID It's a bit early for me, so pardon my sluggishness. So that now the contact is deleted and I will verify that here. So no contact on Workspace Admins domain. So I'm going to send a third message. And I'll call it your notification three. Switched over to Gmail.
the warning banner is still not there. So I think as long as you create the contact, whether it's created through people API or domain shared context API, and then delete it so it doesn't show up in the user's autocomplete, the setting should work. So another option that you have here for some of your users, although we don't recommend turning this off, is the create auto create context for autocomplete. So typically this will be left on by default and this is not a setting that you can configure as an admin, but I've disabled it since we have some automation set up here uh, to send uh, emails out uh, when people request access to uh, the share drive. So we uh, use app script to automate the group membership and uh, as well as the email notification. So I hope this video was useful. Uh, if so, please subscribe to uh, Workspace Admins channel at workspaceadmins.org. Thanks. Bye.